This is the Splatterball SRB400. This is the Splatterball SRB1200. Now the 400 and the 1200, those numbers indicate the capacity of the magazines. This magazine has a capacity of 400 gel balls. This magazine has a capacity of 1200 gel balls. So we're gonna take apart this magazine and see if we can modify it to a 1200 round magazine. So the Splatterball SRB1200 comes stock with this drum style magazine. What's interesting is that the magazines are cross compatible on both blasters. So you can remove this drum mag from the SRB1200 and use it on the SRB400, fits and works just fine. And then you can use a 400 round magazine on the SRB1200, that works fine too. So then I saw that there's an 800 round capacity drum magazine that's advertised for use specifically with the SRB400. I thought that this magazine would actually be smaller in size, but what I found is it's exactly the same magazine on the outside as the SRB1200. So why does this magazine only have 800 rounds and the 1200 have 1200 rounds? I'm thinking they did something sneaky and limited the capacity on the inside of this magazine to only fit 800 rounds. So we're gonna take apart this magazine and see if we can modify it to a 1200 round magazine. Because a 1200 round magazine is awesome. You can play for a long time without having to refill. If you look at the inside of this 1200 round magazine, you can see that only about a third of the space is actually used for gel balls. It's like this little funnel shape here. A lot of the space back here is just wasted. When it's full of gel balls, it's like, it's like wow, what a bunch of wasted space. So I think they could do something that's more efficient than this. In fact, I'm considering doing a 3D printed mod that would attach onto the outside of this 400 round magazine and expand it in width and easily probably hold about 1200 rounds without being quite as big as this drum mag. Although the drum mag does look cool. So looking at the outside of these two magazines, the orange one on the left being the 1200 round magazine and this one being the 800 round magazine, I can see that they've added a piece to this 800 round magazine that truncates the top and therefore you cannot fill it as high as you can with this 1200 round magazine. So that's probably the difference of where the 400 rounds would fit. Here you can see it in here, this part, my fingers up against it, I can't go up any further versus in this magazine, it's completely open up there. That's not blocking the way. So I'm betting that we can take this 800 round magazine apart and turn it into a 1200 round magazine. Wouldn't that be cool? Let's do that. You're gonna need a very long number one or number zero Phillips screwdriver to reach down to these holes. Let's take these screws out. Whoa. All the screws came out. Okay, the front lifts off easily here. Here you can see what I'm talking about where there's all this wasted space back here not being used for gel balls and there's only this top portion up here. And this one has this spacer here that I believe we should be able to remove. Looks like it's two parts snapped together. There's one part on top here. I'm just lifting it off like this. And then I'm gonna take off this bottom piece, slide it out under here, and boom! Now you have a 1200 round magazine, just like the SRB1200. So now you don't need an SRB1200 to have 1200 rounds. Just that space was an extra 400 rounds. And then all that's left to do is put the cover back on and put the screws back in. And that's it, we have now successfully converted the 800 round capacity magazine that was intended for the Spiderball SRB400. Just by opening it up and removing this baffle that's on the inside and leaving that out into a 1200 round magazine, just like comes stock with the SRB1200. So now you have an SRB400 with a 1200 round magazine. 
How sweet is that? So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Check out my other videos to see some really cool mods of the Spider Ball SRB 400, 1200, the Gel Blaster Surge and other Gel Blasters, things like Tracer mods where you can have glow-in-the-dark gel balls for nighttime play and how to upgrade the gearboxes to Metal Gear gearboxes and how to repair them. I'm going to be posting more videos on how to maintain and repair and upgrade these blasters.